you asking me about what AI is going to be like. I'm like, well, I plant the seeds, right? We have to just kind of let it grow and see what happens. But those seeds that I plant, I plant them with the deepest respect of where I come from. You see, what, you see what I'm saying? It's like wow. that allows you to ask very profound questions on the things that you make and create and how they work and who and why they should work. All right, right. So it's like you have to respect that. Welcome to the Awaken the Awesome podcast with your host, Olivier D. This is Awaken the Awesome, a podcast bringing a down-to-earth approach to personal growth. On this show, we're helping individuals just like you learn about tapping into their incredible potential through insightful interviews and inspiring lessons. Our mission is to encourage you to always keep pushing towards achieving your dreams and to stay awesome along the way. It is a pleasure to welcome today's guest, Dr. Yves Jean, on the program. Born and raised in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Dr. Jean's journey is nothing short of inspiring. After attending Institution saint louis Gonzague High School in Haiti, he eventually moved stateside and attended Howard High School. Both an exceptional academic and athlete, he has received numerous awards for his work on and off the field. He received his PhD in electrical engineering from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, where he eventually became a track and field star and Hall of Famer during his undergraduate years. As a doctoral student, he focused on applying computer vision in resource-limited environments for digitizing paper information. His thesis eventually converted to a patent that presents an approach capable of analyzing the content of digital images. Dr. Jean is by all means an accomplished researcher. He has made significant contributions in the field of artificial intelligence. His industry experience includes NASA, Game on Stream, Booz Allen Hamilton, Google, and various technology startups in Silicon Valley. At NASA, Eugens developed an unsupervised object extraction model using three-dimensional time-of-flight camera and an intensity camera for autonomous space stalking. He is also an award-winning filmmaker and humanitarian. After the devastating 2010 Haitian earthquake, he filmed Lift Up, an intimate documentary that captured the story of two brothers honoring their grandfather's promise. The film has won several national and international awards, including the 2011 Amsterdam Film Festival. Currently working at Google as a machine learning engineer, his core work includes creating a hybrid video solution platform that can enable building large AI-centric video analytics applications at scale. On this episode, Ugens shares his perspective on having a dedicated vision, surrounding yourself with the right people, memories of growing up in Haiti, as well as insights on the impact of technology on our lives. So let's get into this. Awaken the Awesome, episode 202 with Dr. Ugens Jean. Here we go. I remember you, because it's nice to think about chapters, right? I remember you from the schoolyard as a kick-ass basketball player. In my heart and in my mind, you still reign as one of the legends of the schoolyard, basketball-wise. And then everybody left, you know, for life and stuff. And I remember I was watching you on Facebook, back when Facebook was the thing. And I saw a kick-ass athlete, you know, high jump and stuff with all the accolades and everything. And then, you know, you did your own thing, you know, with the film production and the programming and the coding and then Google and so many things. And then we reconnected and I see you working in AI now. And I'm like, dude, it's so amazing the, the things that happen in one lifetime. And I need to commend you for that, man, because it's, it's a wonderful thing. Because if we don't take assessment and acknowledgement of the great things that we achieve, small or big, it's something that we need to praise people for. And as a brother, as a fellow man, as a father, as a guy, Negla guy, you know, from the schoolyard, whatever those memories lay, yeah. I want to applaud you for that, man, because you've come a long yeah. way. And I just wanted to celebrate you for that, man. So yeah. thanks for being on the program. I really appreciate your time. You forgot NASA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot NASA. I forgot NASA. Dude, it's, it's been a wild ride, man. It's been a wild ride, but really, like, how, what, <laughs> how far do we need to go back? When you think about it, man, like, it's gotta, it's, do you ever take the time to realize that, man, I've done some pretty cool stuff? Yeah, man, but it's just like, I keep feeling like I haven't done anything, you know? It's like, uh, it's, it's not because, you know, you're right it's like the resume looks like 
crazy. But man, it's like the, you know how they say it's about the folks that you surround yourself with. That is so important. Talk about that, man. I hear that right, a lot. Right. right, because, you know, it's like, I know other people that it's exactly what you're saying. It's like, their list of accomplishments are like, oh man, that's that will take like 50 lifetimes to do, you know, it's like, because they've done so much. You know, it's like, like one person, like I always, you know, talk about would be Dr. Abowski from like former president of UMG, right? The man got a, I think a PhD like at like 21. Wow. Right, right. Black, black man. And also um, went to jail with Dr. King. Like, the children's crusades. You know, it's like, and and Dr. King and and, and the Dr. Abowski were locked up in the same cell. And and they were, like, praying together. Wow. That's, That's after Dr. Abowski's parents were, like, furious that... They didn't want him to go and participate in that. But then, um, man, he always gave this incredible speech about, you know, like feeling like a, like a hypocrite in terms of like the civil rights move, civil rights movement, and like, you know, I think it's recorded somewhere. But yeah, man, um, people like that when they create their programs and their visions, right? For like people like me, right? Because, yup, all of that happened, but it's it, it, it's like I was, you call it your show awesome, right? So mm-hmm. I was, you kind of were, I was surrounded with just like this, like this, this like army of like awesome people. That, that, that just had done so much and you're like man it's like you, you always you always feel like you haven't done it yeah. so it's always the imposter syndrome oh yeah um you go you, you, you always feel that um based on what you're trying to do right it's always gonna be like oh man i, I wasn't ready um or like this person is so much so much more advanced so much farther like yeah. i can't i can't live up to those expectations right 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 there's that so it, 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 i guess it all depends on what you're trying to do right that it see you just hit you just hit a point there because i love the fact that you open it up with the people you surround yourself with and for the people, you know, listening to us, because a lot, I bring that back a lot. You know, you can only go so far uh, within a certain environment. And you're obviously a good example of that. Like, you know, you you sought out opportunities and you made the best of them. So for people like, you know, still trying to break away from, you know, a par- let's call it a pattern that's not serving them. Is there a way to seek out those awesome people? Is there a way to make yourself, you know, known or like how do we integrate these circles come somehow like you know okay i don't like my crowd right now right. how do i act? it's a dumb question but how do we change our crowd how Is do we change our environment dumb question why do you call it a dumb question you know, it, sounds, it sounds it sounds it sounds lunatic just putting it so simply like yeah you want to change your life like change the people you hang around with but is it that simple yeah man is it Right? It's not, right? It's not simple like that. You know, if um, everybody has their pad, right? Everybody did their thing, right? It's like what you like to do is very different from probably what I like to do. Mm-hmm. Right? For sure. Man, but I'm going to tell you something. Hmm. You know, when I was at St. Louis and you taught, I was like this, like, oh, man, this basketball, like, phenom. I used to follow Dominique Telfall, right? My aunt used 
to work at the Bibliothèque Nationale, National across the street, uh-huh. from, like from school, and his mom worked with my aunt, and I made it a big fuss to just spend a day with Dominique Telfort. That's like in Haiti, you know, and 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 that was just like my. It's just like a kid asking to be with like Michael Jordan or something. That's what it meant to you. Right, right, right. You know, it's like, it was, I say this is because I want to make it as simple as possible, right? Mm -hmm. For you to have, to surround yourself with awesome people, you have to be teachable. You have to put yourself in a space where it's like they can teach you. If, If you can't be teachable, if you can't respect other people, like if you can't be like, yeah, coach. I, I didn't. I'm, I didn't think about it that way, right? Or, yes, doctor, whoever. I'm gonna run this experiment again, right? Mm-hmm. And then it's like there's all the nonsense that you have to do with respect to like. Let's say um, if you say you were gonna do some program in, mm-hmm. and and like whatever that program is, law, med school, PhD, or whatever. Dude, they're not gonna give you a degree just for that. You have to, you have to do the work, right? So it's like, um, you have to accept that, you know. It's like there's no shortcut for what you choose to do. And as you doing all this stuff, you know, yeah, yo, man. It's like you can be a pain to work with. You can be like very. Uh, Oh man, I don't think I, I want to be part of this PhD or this dissertation committee or. Wow. You know, it's like you, you literally have to be a very teachable person, but at the same time, trying to get out of that mode, right? Because you can't always be so, like, you know, you, you're not you're not going to be a student forever. It's like at some point when you do what you do, like whatever degree you get. In in my case, it's a PhD. Mm-hmm. I have to get out of the mode of like, you know, um, I was a student. You know, I'm no longer a student. I'm 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 like. You're pretty accomplished. You could say you could say that, you know. Um, but you know, I work in my field, and I work at one of the leading places in AI. Man. I heard about Facebook. It's like two hundred and forty billion dollars. <laughs> oh my god! From one point, from a trillion dollars, that's seventy percent down from what they used to be. Wow! I used to, I used to want to work there too. Um, I'm, I'm glad I, I, I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I love it. I love the way you put it. I really love the way you put it. The fact that. We have to put humility into the formula. And we have to put in, again, teachability. We have to be willing. So what you're saying is that we have to watch our ego. Because often enough... Well, est-ce que j'ai fait fait, like Coach fait fait from oh, I love Fefe to this day. To this yeah, day. Like, that guy's a staple. Kinda, you see, Fefe was like that. Fefe was just... Uh, he was the coach. And... You know, he could go like very far with the things that he said, but no, 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 no. You know, it's like, but we're all grateful. You know, I'm going to put right. it out. You know, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, the easiest to deal with, but every single person who went under him, we still hold him in high regard because you know what? Yeah, man, he had, it, he had a method. I appreciate the way he was. You know, it's like, he was like, man, you know, we have, we have to get to work. We have to be the best. We got work to do. Right? We got work to do. That's we how we get results. Championships. And right, we did. So, so that's that's the way that was the kind of thing that um I, I you know that influenced me when I when I was at Saint Louis, you know, and playing basketball for the team. So again, I, I told you that Dominique tell four stories because it's like you can wanna be great like other people, but it's like you know. I'm like, I tell people I work with all the time, you, you, you'd be surprised how much, you know, it's like folks will just like, you know, 
pay to spend like a couple minutes, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of picking your brain and, and stuff like that. You know? This is true. This is true. And, you know, it's it's a great thing that I want people to to take note of something you said that's really important. You have to do the work. Um, you can tell this um, just before we hit record, you were talking about, you know, putting in blood, sweat, tears, hours into, you know, what must be like, you know, thousands upon thousands of lines of code what? and it doesn't work. And it's just you yeah. and this program and nobody else cares. Nobody else knows, but you have to put in the work because you understand that there's a result coming. There's a reward that you want for yourself, but you have to bring in the discipline and the patience. So, you know, um, do you think growing up Haitians helped helped us with that kind of resilience? Is that something that you build? Is that something that you learn? Because as you said, just before we record, it's not for everybody. Some people just like pull their hair out and just like call it quits and start crying. But you were talking about, you know what? You have to figure it out. You know, you have to figure it out. And at, that can only come with the work. I'm mentioning that because a lot of people, you know, make it so easy to create excuses. So I was wondering, like, you know, how how you address, you know, your your setbacks or those those uh those hiccups uh, that might come along your journey yeah man um you gotta call out call out the, the ancestors you know that's just like <laughs> man you gotta you gotta you gotta respect where you're from right um, i love it it's like uh haiti's a special place you know dude I tell people like my biggest regret like deepest regret is the fact that we can give to our kids like what we had, like the magic of just bro up there and then just, say it loud. Yeah, man. It's like we can't like we oh can't. yo, we go there, shoot, I mean I come out. I'm telling you, it's like that's not what we want. You know, it's like for the people watching, nah man, that's not what this is about. Not what this is about. It's not, it's not. You know, it's like, I know we have our issues and stuff like this, but man, can you imagine? It's like, you could go, like, give, just say, when I was your age, (laughs) what you're about to experience right now, just go, like, it will change you. It will reset you. It will reset you. Something as basic as, like, And even, and I have to learn this with my own kids, just sitting down with my kids and just like, you know, I was teaching my daughter this, like, you know, uh, because she's doing her, her, her um, adding and subtracting and multiplying and stuff. And she's really struggling with multiplying. And I'm like, dude, you would be up at like 2 a.m. like memorizing this until you got it. Because trust me, by tomorrow, the teacher is going to sit you up and you better know this. (laughs) So there's that rigor. And as we were talking about Fifi earlier, it was like, there's that rigor, there's that discipline, you know, what we could call kind of abuse. But as you said, we're not advocating it. But at some point, the discipline has rewards down the line. You know, it builds the character. Right, right. That's a matter of like philosophy, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, hey, you know, do you discipline? How do you discipline kids? Like, there's all sorts of different circumstances. Mm -hmm. And you just don't know, like. What's the best? The, what's what's the best approach? Um, oh man! But hey, um, with respect to like the way, you know, the way you know, I grew up in hate. It's like it's not about you know. It's just you know what I'm saying. It's like the experience. You know, yeah. it's like um, yeah, like a lot of time you, you, you the country just gave you your the, the discipline you you needed, right? It's you like, figure it out. Did it you gives you that perspective. With, uh, like 2000 class all the way? No, no, because unfortunately I, uh, I missed, uh, I flunked, I flunked, I, I, I lost one year because uh, I flunked uh, second. Yeah, I think I flunked second. So I was one year behind. Uh, but, you know, I still keep in touch with some of the guys, a lot of guys, but yeah. it was, you, it was something. Ale Lumel, shout out to Ale. Oh, Ale, Chef Lumel, my man. My man, she's like she's actually been on the show, on the show twice before. Yeah, on the, I on see him. I, on I, the fun, him. on all the time. I love him, love him to death. He, I love what he's been doing, and he's doing great things for the culture. And like you know, he's doing amazing things with Sensory Delights, just as a chef. Like you know, just being you know on uh, on Food Network on with Ludacris and stuff. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him, man. 
It's been Man, it's been a wild I'd be ride. If I didn't mention, you know, the whole me cabin situation, right? My guy, um, I wasn't going to bring it up, but you know, it touches us on a very deep level. I don't know. He, was he? He was part of our class, right? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Right. Right. Yes, he was. Exactly. And I do remember, I'm telling you, I do remember. If you talk about basketball, we were playing some ball. That's for sure. When you have a shared experience. It's something that really strengthens a community. Uh, it strengthens a people. And that's why, you know, hearing stories like yours um, is something that I really do celebrate because it's something that it's not chump change. It's not just about, you know, as, we're, as I was telling you on WhatsApp, it's not just about talking about, you know, our musical bands and everything and all culture and stuff. There's, there's actual people like, you know, putting a stamp uh, uh, for Haiti and for our generation because I believe we're speaking a new language, we're opening up new doors, and that's something that people need to know about. And um, just pivoting just a little bit, when when did the um, were you always into you know tech and coding and stuff, or is that something that you always sought out, or how did that happen actually? Man, you, you know what. Um... My my stories about computers like, like are kind of lame with respect to like the way I was I got um, like introduced to like computers. You no know, kidding. In, in in Haiti, I think my neighbor had computers, and, and I would turn it on and off, write something, and the screen will change, and and like oh man. But for me, man, the way I got into, like, coding was, like, in high school. Um, when I came here, mm -hmm. um, I got very tired of, like, solving the quadratic equation by hand. You know, it's like, if I'm slow, right? It's like, your boy, exact, it's like, you know, if you're doing this algebra, mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to have to solve by hand. Yeah. And then you have the advantage of using a TI-86, mm -hmm. right, at the time, you know, in calculus, for example, right? So it's like, okay, you know, now it's, you know, it's in the open, you know, mm -hmm. you know my secret. You know, so it's like I code a lot of my formulas in my calculator. Nice. Then the problem, you know, I look at it. I'm like, okay, well, let me just tap, 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 and here are the questions, and then what are my answers? And then, right. boom, boom, it's like, and you're done. So it's like, I'm like coding. That's what it. That's it. It's a. Uh, it saves you some time, right? It's problem solving. Right, 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 right. So it's like. Um, I wanted to just do more of that, you know, um, in, in, in school, like, wow, more of, okay, how do you, you know, save yourself some time, like from, from something you can have to solve anyway, you know what I'm saying? That's often the case when you're trying to, every innovation I believe is always trying, is always finding a, a more efficient way to execute a, an, an irritating problem or conundrum. I believe every time you come up with an innovative solution is because you're trying to solve something that you inherently believe the individual or the community um, always believe is like, okay, there has to be a simpler way to do this. And that's what I'm hearing from you. So you had that, that nudge, that itch. I'm like, you know what? I, I can't keep, like you said, I can't keep doing this by hand. There has to be a simpler solution and let me make it happen. That's, that's, it sounds, it's, that's basically, you know, when you find your shtick, you find your purpose, you really you realize, okay, this is what I love to do. And you just ran with it. That's, that, that's, and look at, look at it now. Like, you know, you're running. Right. You know, right. I know it's, I know I sound geeky and just like all, all gypsy and everything because like, you know what? I find it really cool because I realize that right now we're in a new age where it's ubiquitous. Like, you know, tech is here to stay. Um, you know, you might want, we're not a Terminator yet, but it's, it's something, you know, for someone who's in the field, um, do you believe what, how, 
I'm trying to phrase this question properly because everybody's talking a lot about AI and autonomous vehicles and, you know, Web3 and all that stuff. But from your perspective, what does the next like five, 10 years look like in the world of automation and stuff? Like, are we going to get to like, you know, ubiquitous, like, you know, self-driving cars? Like, is is uh, iRobot going to happen at some point <laughs> or are we still a long way off from that? I'm asking for like a huge, 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 huge crystal ball here. Do you believe we're we're heading there? Dude. Oh man, that's a loaded question, right? I know it is. I know it is. We're here. We're here to exchange, man. Again, I, I I'm very good at low hanging fruit questions. <laughs> Yo, because I am absolutely nobody, right? You know, it's like, and I had no idea, Elon Musk. You are not nobody. Me. Well, we'd be running Twitter, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so you're asking about, oh, what's going to happen 10 years from now? What's going to happen? Man, I don't know. You know, it's like in terms of technology, well, AI is going to be, of course, it's like. It's fun. It's fun to realize sometimes I just play around with it just to see how powerful Google has become in terms of like something that they make so simple, like, you know, just even with Google Maps and like, you know, whether you're going to the grocery store or going to this and you're like, okay, here's a suggestion. Last time you bought this. I'm like, you use the navigation system all the time. I suppose. Yeah, yeah, we do. Do you prefer, do you prefer Waze or do you prefer Maps? I am going to confess I have never used Waze. Um, I'm that I am that dedicated. I'm very like I come. I'm very Google centered, so I'm just within the Google ecosystem. So I just use Maps all the way, and I love it. I really do. Same way, but don't say that to my wife. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, that that woman believes in ways. She's like, there's a side, there's a car on the on the road. Like it's like ways just kind of tell you all this stuff. So far, it's really served me because every time I open it up, even to go to work, sometimes I'll just open it up because you're so used to doing your own, you're the same thing every day. And sometimes you don't even think like, hey, you open it up the Maps app and you're like, hey, by the way, there's a crash happening. So you might want to take and sometimes you're asking yourself, Google, why are you making me go through here? <laughs> and you're like, then you hear a colleague saying, yeah, but there's an accident. Oh, no kidding. I didn't even know. Yeah, but, but you know, but listen, right. So so there's the other side of that st- of the story where it's like. Does it make us dumber? You know, it's like we're not thinking at this point. That's a concern. Where is the initiative? Well, it's just like, you know, it's a nice fe- feature to have when you like go into that party and you're not going to try to be late and you have no idea where you're going. Yes. Just take me there, you know. Um, but I, I, but you have to be. Um, so. So. Um, with respect to artificial intelligence, mm-hmm. we had this thing called at AI at today, like mm-hmm. at Google, and, and they talk about they answer that question, right? You know, they answer exactly the question you answer you ask me, but these people are like years ahead. Oh yeah, man. We're talking about, you know, yeah, next level. So it's remember like the, it, what, do you remember what your first day was like? Like you got hired and then like, you know what? Okay, Yo. no for, do you remember what your first yeah. day was like? Again, like, hey, I'm working at Google now. Yo, you don't want to know what my first day was. It's just like, <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. Then listen, what was your hardest day in school? Like ever, like any, at, at any level or just like. Hardest day. That yeah. that was my first day. That, that was that. That would tell you right now. That was my first day. I, I can think of it. Listen, here. listen. Yeah. I I interviewed like I did my in, first time I interviewed. Right, it didn't work out. Right, it's just um, you know, I I I did the interview like close to like five years ago, and okay. like five were in New York, and it was just like at the time I had a PhD already, right. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, and I'm like, oh man, but oh man, I, I'll never forget it. It, it. it didn't really work out, but I'm like, <laughs> whatever. So you didn't tell yourself, oh, I'm a PhD, I got this. But they forgot. So second time it worked out, right? It worked out, and 
But listen, I did my interview in my most comfortable language, which was Python. Mm -hmm. Right? That's like, okay, I, tell me to like cook an egg right now in Python and, and boom, you know. I got you. Egg. And then day one, they say, you're not going to use Python. You're going to use C++. And I'm like, I don't remember the last time I used C++. And you have to contribute thousands and thousands and thousands. And dude, I'm I'm at like close to 50,000 lines of C++. And I'm like, what? It's like, what's going on with my fingers? It's just like, that's just to tell you, it's just like day one was just like, you want the job? You got to go. You got to work. You got to, you got to put in the work. It's just like, or you can just like, oh man, I'm not going to learn. I'm not going to do this C++ and I'm not going to be able to do this code bubble. Dude, you have to. So you didn't let the, you didn't let the fear and you did not let this discomfort stop you no nah, because it was just like it's almost like you, they drop you in this brand new it's like this universe of mm -hmm. like year decades of like incredible engineering you know last time i checked it's worth 1.13 trillion dollars you know said so it's like it's incredible right um and you Come on, man. You got to respect. You got to, like, wow. You I'm have to give this a try. I'm going to give this a chance. You know, it's like, dude, my my thing is, I wish I started earlier. You know, it's like. How so? Like, right after school. Because you're just like, then I would have been like, who? Like, like a lot of other people that I see. You know, or maybe I could have left, right? And and started something at a time that was like super convenient. Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like I would I would have started to learn many of the things that I kept assuming but never experienced. Like, oh, Makes okay, sense. that's 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 what I, I was doing wrong this whole time. You know, and 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 you're like, okay. Because it's like a massive, like, university, I call it. You know, it's like when I was in school, you know, you get stuck in something, you, mm -hmm. you just go Google that joint. You mm -hmm. know? And But it's the same thing. It's like... Um, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of working at that level where it's like... Um, You have to push yourself. And what, if any, would you have, would you think has been one of the the major shifts in the way you approach? I would say, you know, your thought process. Is there a difference? Work like after Google, like in Google as before google what i'm saying is that because you were talking about again the people we surround yourself with and one thing i know about google from what i know from being a layman is the fact that there's a very big culture there and you know they're very big about you know bringing forth ideas no matter how kooky no matter how wild they're very open in terms of open communication stuff and is that something that you found you know to be yet another another weapon in your arsenal in terms of how to, you know, again, grow again, being keep being teachable, or is that something that, you know, only confirmed how you are, how you were initially, you know? So did you find a new ways of thinking and new ways to approach things? Or is that something that was, did you find your tribe within Google? Do you think, would you say? Oh, well, yeah, there's a bunch of Haitians at Google. There's a lot of SLJ alums that work, that work there, man. We're going to take over the world. <laughs> oh, I don't know about taking over the world, but, you know, uh, shout outs to them. You know, it's um, they, a lot of them are doing incredible stuff, man. It's like like when you go on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and you, you look at all the posts, it's just like 
it's just wow like there's a lot of incredible inc- it's just like you hear it all the time you read the post it's just like you know i'm like yeah that's how i feel too you know i know google has their issues with respect to other things but it's mm-hmm. like that's a lot of companies yo it's just like a lot of companies have have you know their own things but it's just you gotta respect it regardless you have to yeah 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 it's like man it's it's like the the caliber of 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 the work and the um, just the amount of code let's just talk about the amount of code i'm like whoa organizing the world's information (laughs) yo my god but just hearing you like it sounds it sounds obviously daunting and overwhelming but just hearing you there's still the excitement that keeps you going there's still you know you're from what i'm hearing from you you're not willing to back down because you understand that this is part of the process and for the people listening to us they can hear that you know what your dreams are going to kick the s out of you but if right. you want them bad enough you got to keep going you know right right you know what I'm saying? It's like Google is for everybody. It's like if, if it's for the person who's just getting started, that's what I'm saying. It's just like I wish I started earlier. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like it's it's for you. It's like the, the person who's like still in school, shoot, it's also for you. And then it's also for the icons, right? There's just there are icons that work there, you know, and you and you try to just kind of wrap that around your head. It's just like, man. Because we also live in a space where people always push, like, you got to build your own business, you know, stop working for the man, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever. It's just like whatever to make you feel like you're not where you need to be, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And you have to try to overcome that yourself, like, in your your own, like, journey, your own own, uh, experience, you know, and, and... and, and and that's where, you know, you start to just see, you know, what other people are going through their journey. And you're like, oh, man, I respect that. You know, I could, you know, just kind of, you know, and, 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 to, and let that influence me, you know, and that's 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 what it that's That's the main message. You know, I would probably um, kind of send out. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's just um, like, dude. We were like, we're like, man, we may be doctors. We may be medical doctors because that's what everybody wants. But mm-hmm. I had no desire to have PhD or like, you know, all, all that stuff. It's just, you know, when you start to see the work that other people did and like the bricks that they laid Mm-hmm. To like let you just easily right in some situations just get to a particular level and you just start to participate like just you know you start to engage yourself in it and and and, and then it's like you have to kind of leave room to just the impossible you know that's the way you know i kind of um approach my PhD, for example, because I'm like, me getting this PhD, never, man. It's like, I think I quit at some point. I'm like, oh, man. I'm no kidding. It. Yes. Yes. It's just like, and then it's it's just the way that, you know, the, you know, opportunity happens and you go through a particular experience that just kind of revive all the stuff. And, and and you just kind of push forward because it's it's just it's like a line. It's like it's very obvious. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you're just gonna walk a very straight line. Do you believe that we can? Because I'm guessing as a programmer, you know, as an engineer, as a person, like okay, who is doing is like us. One thing I know is that you. Of course, you you have to have a set end result in mind for wherever these lines are going to take you. But can we have, this is a really broad question, for the people who are scared, you know, they listen to someone like you, you know, PhD, massive accomplishments, you know, personal and professional. 
and but they're sitting here you know thinking like but i don't i i, I feel like i don't have it all figured out uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do well, i don't know what my next chapter is i don't know if i'm at the right company uh, i i just don't know so you're saying that sometimes it's okay to not have it all figured out because if i'm taking like you know your experience that you shared from your first day you felt really really like like you said the worst day in school and this is your first day so you're saying that even if we don't have it all figured out we just need to keep pushing yeah i'm like that's the story right and that's that and it's like i was looking at the picture of me the other day i was like i don't know six seven eight nine and i'm like wow you know if only i could go back and tell that kid what what he has to do tomorrow wow. he'll be like Kisa! <laughs> <laughs> right? are you crazy like, are you crazy like <laughs> like you did the babe <laughs> right it's that's the way that's that's what i mean it's like you don't even know i don't even know like um sometimes you know like what this particular like perseverance right because that's the other thing right we're not crazy we're not gonna try to you know keep doing crazy stuff and like putting ourselves in like worse and worse and worse situation mm -hmm. you know so it's like you make decisions you know you go to school you know you buy this car you get married you have these relationships all of these things are decisions that you're making and it creates this like this 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 map for your life right it's like okay if i choose to do this next if i choose to persevere with this particular decision next yeah man that's that's what will happen and and that's you know that's 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 the way i see it man it's like um you, you kind of have a, a map like a a, a sort of a compass to kind of take you to where you trying you made those choices it's like it's like those relationships those things you 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 study the the all the things you your kids all the things you care about you know so it's like um and then you you said like your resilience and it's like you know our culture you know the things we listen to you know the things that makes us laugh and and and, and stuff like that so I mean, all of that is just like gives us a nice map about you know okay this is who I want to be based on like, you know, what I love and, and also based on, based on the overwhelming respect that we have to pay for the people that allowed us to even be here in the yeah. first place. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Man. So you, you can't just like, back, back, you see him back, like, you probably, oh, come on. You can't it's like, it. That's why it's like, it's, um, it's like you can't, it's like it doesn't matter where you go. It's like that culture is just it's part it's of like you. so bold, right? It's just um like man, messy, like wow. You gotta pay homage. You gotta pay Amen. homage because you can't you can't understand that when you're in it, it's easy to neglect the fact that you know what? This may be, you know, not what what I wanted or anything. You have can have ten thousand reasons to complain, but when you take ownership of it, and just like you, because just hearing you, it just brings me back to a certain very important level of humility, where you have to understand that you know what, some people that started out with us, you know, if we're gonna take Mika as an example, he's no longer here. Rest in peace, rest his soul. Um, you understand that life, life is really unexpected, and you need to make the best you can where you are with what you have and be extremely grateful with every opportunity that you have. Every opportunity that comes before you because some people didn't. Mm. And you know what? You're a terrific example of that. And 
you know, yeah, it's something it's that needs, so that, trying, you know, it's, it's trying, trying is, is something that, you know, it's something that we all do. And it's also beautiful to see us executing and you do that day by day. And you're one of, you know, many examples that need to be celebrated. And I really do mean that, you know, brother, it's, um, it's Thank a true, you. it's a true honor and a privilege to share this time with you. I want to respect, remain respectful of your time because I know you're a very busy guy. Um, thank you uh, for being on I the program. To, let's say, <laughs> like, trust me, man. It's like this is a bit, you know, it's it's a good time. I don't really have to go back to. That's the other thing about you know Google, right? It's like, yep, it's they 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 respect your time as well, right? Mm-hmm. It's like they understand you have to work hard, but um, you know, you should find you know. You, there's so many different things to do or place like teams to work for Mm -hmm. and, you know, just find, you know, like good enough space where it's like, yeah, man, I did. There are times. Yeah. I'm busy. Right. There are times (laughs) I'm like, this is going to be a long day. (laughs) Right. Right. (laughs) Excuse me. But there, there are times where I'm like, oh man, I'm not busy. I'm not. I'm not worrying. You see, what I'm saying that's the mm-hmm. other thing, right? It's like there are times you you at work, and you're not doing nothing. You know, mm-hmm. like, you know, it's like you don't know. It's like what am I not doing anything? But what am I like, not doing? No, nah, it's different. It's like you you've done like very solid, impactful work that still needs to be proven. You know, what I'm saying it's like mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. wait, 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 wait this we are in 2022 right Mm -hmm. so it's like you asking me about what ai is going to be like i'm like well i plant the seeds right we have to just kind of let it grow and see what happens but those seeds that i plant i plant them with the deepest respect of where i come from you see you see what i'm saying it's like wow that allows you to ask very profound questions on the things that you make and create and how they work and who and why they should work. Oh, wow. All right, right. So it's like you have to respect that. So have the purpose in mind. Have the intention, the knowledgeable intention in mind and respect the process for the fruits that are going to be produced. You might not be around to see those fruits, but you know that you laid them and you sowed them, that planted them in the best right. possible way. That's right. a good, that's, that's that's good, that's I did not expect is, philosophy on this call, man. Yeah, man, when you build, for, when you build technology for other people to build on, that's, that's, that's what it is. I mean, it's like, you know, something that, it's like you're late, you've laid the bricks. Right. So that's why it's like it's great. You, you go work there early on and you start to understand, like, you know, what powers them. And then if you do go and do something else, you could just kind of use some of those same principles to just make sure you don't. It's like you kind of learn from experience as opposed to like, and I don't know. That is something. That is something. Dude, you're giving me a lot to think about. Just, you know, it's not just it's not just within the realm of tech. I believe that, you know, uh, tech definitely is, like I said, is a part, is an integral part of our lives. You know, not just through our phones, not just through this communication that allows us to make this call happen. But, you know, I remember when this podcast started, I was actually doing this over Hangouts. Remember Hangouts? Uh, but yeah, it was, yeah. it was, it was crazy. And to think about how it makes, it makes its way into our lives in such a profound way, but I never thought about the philosophy behind it. You build on the shoulders of people who, who, who built just before you and what you're doing as well is going to impact the lives of people after you. Yeah. So you always have to think about that, that, that castle in that way, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like, You know, you build and you have, and they build it before you and they build it to work a certain way. And you can't just be a bully and show up and like, oh, it should work this way, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like you have to spend time to learn that, okay, well, 
this is how it works and why it works that way. And then from there, you can just, okay, I, you know, I see what's going on and, and let me add my layer on top. Right. And then, you know, you, um, and, and you can do that. That's amazing. That's amazing. Brother, I cannot thank you enough for this very educational and inspiring time. Um, again, this is one of those calls where you don't, you don't, you don't know what to expect because, as I told you, very conversational. It was just an ex- a very selfish excuse to catch up with a brother, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot, and a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of people listening to this call once it goes live definitely will. Um, gonna get curious, like you know, if um, just for the people curious, if we want to stay in touch with your projects or stuff that you're working on, is LinkedIn still the best place to follow you? Yeah, LinkedIn. It's like, man, I wish people would just like my stuff, man. I'm like, I don't know what to say sometimes. It's just, <laughs> you know, I'm just... well, I guess that the content that you show is very, it's probably for a very niche target, you know, kind of people. So people are really, really deeply interested in tech just to see those when you're trying out those, like those tracking uh, things. I, and see the AI and stuff. I follow it because, you know, you're, I love tech. Influencers, it's just like, I oh, mean, it's too much politics. I'm like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> This is true, but you know I'll definitely uh, leave a link to um, to your LinkedIn profile for people who want to check in with you and just to say hi. Um, but man, uh, fellow brother, warrior, and a king, uh, Yen Jean, it's been a terrific, terrific time. Uh, let's not be strangers. Uh, we're not strangers. Go for it. We see each other on the WhatsApps of the world. Again, you're a busy guy, but always expect me to say hi. And again, I can wish you nothing, nothing but tremendous success. Brother, have a terrific evening. All the best to you and the family, man. And do stay safe. All right. Thank you. This has been another episode of the Awaken the Awesome podcast. We always love to get your feedback. So please do drop us a line via Instagram, Facebook, or email. Our email address, awakentheawesome at gmail.com. Do visit our official website at awakentheawesome.ca where you can find our entire back catalog of episodes and incredible guests. Also, if you haven't already, please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and subscribe, give us a rating, and leave us a review, as this helps us tremendously in growing this podcast and spreading the word to more awesome listeners like you. We always appreciate your support, and thank you for listening. Stay awesome.